just a boring fucking. Yeah, I actually had a weird perception of uh, best jungler this split. I don't know how Cajun feels about it, but I thought that in terms of just regular season play only, I thought that the highest level of performance average over all the games was actually inspired. I thought inspired. Was yeah, I think inspired was the best for sure in the regular split. Okay. I feel like he has a bit of a limited, limited chat pull as well, though. That's my problem. Yeah, that, that's he does. That's yeah. kind of what I thought about it. I mean, like, what is it limited by? Because, I mean, right now, like, you saw... Well, it the the match. Yeah, listen, it's basically the same argument about everything about Rogue, right? It's like, all they're doing is playing the meta perfectly and winning from it. It's like, is that a downside? It isn't now, but in the future it will be. So I guess I'm being unfair because I'm talking about, like, overall ability or whatever. You're mm -hmm. right, though. You've played all the chapters that you had to. Yeah, I thought Inspired yeah, was I think, I think Inspired was really good in the regular split. I think he had one best of five, which was really bad against Fnatic. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he really against Fnatic, he has a really bad best fight, but I think he, a week later he shows up, picks his Evelyn, and just starts stomping again. So I think Inspired was definitely the best performing jungler in terms of like champion pool consistency and getting ahead. But I think self mid, I wouldn't say it was the best jungler in the entire split because I think Fnatic had a lot of up he, he and down, down like, when self mid picks set. Like, yeah, he, he would pick set to go like zero, 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 yeah, seven. <laughs> yeah, but like there was some games, like, so for example, the one versus G2 where he was playing like Lee Sin and just flashed into the turret, died like through the whole lane phase. Like, literally, his lane, <laughs> his lane 2v2 killed as Pike Jin into Caitlyn Morgana. Think about that lane matchup. How insanely hard is it for a Pike Jin to actually play into Kate Morgana? Wins that lane, and then he just comes and feeds double bus like nothing, and just pieces out. Like, that was pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, I think he has he had like really insane games where he carries alone, and he had really bad games where he ran it in the regular split. But I think in the best of five versus G two, I think he was the better jungler for sure. And I yep. think agreed. That's why he's so good, kind of. Um, That's but also I think in playoffs he's the best dude. jungler. Like even though, listen, I think not only is he better to play at the moment, but he was way better in that series particularly. But that's the one one area that actually I'm a little bit underwhelmed by Yankos this year. I've noticed not only in terms of his player, but in all of his interviews now. Dude, he like, I, I thought he was joking at first, but he's just doing that G2 thing where you mask like criticism in jokes. He always talks about how he's old and how he's not good and he's not young and he doesn't have the mechanics. And he's like, what are you talking about, dude? Like last year, you could still play all the shit like Lee and be a fucking monster. What are you talking about? Like, I feel like he's got like a self-limiting belief where he thinks to himself like, oh, I'm now like an, I'm an older, but he's basically doing that shit where they all transition to become the brain jungler only and just set the team up. But like, listen, I know self-made is like a younger version of you, but like, Obviously, Yanko still has the mechanics. He's still really good to me when he has his good games. So, like, I feel like he's limiting himself in that sense. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely something in his head. I mean, I can't really speak on it because I'm not really sure how he thinks about it. But I think in solo queue, I think Yankos is really good. I think in scrims, when he plays carry junglers, when we scrimmed him, whatever, on Lee Sin, whatever, he seems really good. I, I mean, obviously, his stage performances on Lee Sin haven't been that good recently. I think he's been making a lot of mechanical mistakes on the champs himself. But... I don't. I wouldn't attribute the set picks just because he feels like he's getting worse or whatever, or he doesn't have the mechanics. I think if he picks his, I mean, obviously the meta for Yankos is really good when it's like Elise, Volley Bear, Rek'Sai stuff like this. This is where he really shines. But sure. even, even like maybe Kazix arguably. But I mean, last year's meta in general with the Jarvan, the Elise, Olaf. That's kind of where I think Yankos is in his huge comfort zone. I don't think he's a huge like Hecarim sort of Evelyn one v nine player. But I wouldn't say that it's impossible for him to pick it up. I just think it's not really his style. Yeah. Whereas I mean, like junglers, younger junglers like inspired and self made who are like yeah. solo queue fucking warlords just stomping around solo queue and then they just pick these champs and carry. So yeah. Well, what, what do you think about just the in the general perception of like just playing a lot of carry junglers? Like the general idea of like, hey, you should be playing carry junglers because even like so for example, G two kind of reminds me of like top in China where they have where like Karsa is like is like Yankos in the way where he can play the mechanical champions. I mean, I know people will meme Yankos as Lee Sin now, but for the most part, the guy has been good on the champion for a while. Of course. And, and uh -huh. um, Karsa for, for top has like all these insane laners, right? Knight, Jackie Love, 369, like all these top level players. But even that team is picking up like Nidalee and stuff like that and playing around jungle. So if that team is able to like, if that team is saying, hey, carry junglers are the meta. And even when they played against JDG in the finals, we actually watched that series together. They're playing a bunch of uh, um, carry junglers themselves. If that team is willing to do that, why is G2 not doing it? It's a good question. Uh, I would argue that they're probably going to try it next next week a little bit. I don't know, just Nidalee. Europe never really liked Nidalee. I don't think there's even like big Nidalee players in Europe at all. Uh, I don't think Jankos has played Nidalee for like three or four seasons at least probably as well. Mm -hmm. So the whole Nidalee thing is something that I've been questioning in general. Like why isn't Europe playing Nidalee? Like they're fine playing AD mids and playing like... Lilia, Evelyn, Gragas even at times with self-made, but Nidalee's just never picked. And I guess 
the only reason that I can attribute it to is I think Nidalee needs mega good setup. I think it needs Renekton top. It needs like a Camille. It needs a set mid. It needs something like this with CC, early prio and dive potential. Because I think this champ is kind of like Elise in a way where you can dive, but it's also like Evelyn in a way where you can farm. And I think it scales really well as well. So uh, I think you need really good players, whether it's like an Orn top or Renekton or something like this. And I think you need really specific champion pools to be able to pull the Nidalee off. Because it's a, a bit different to like Evelyn, where Evelyn can just solo kill someone level 6. Nidalee needs setup. She can't just like max range hit a spear in a lane and kill him himself. So uh, I would attribute more setup. I don't think there's huge Renekton players in Europe like... Um, I think LZK and LPL really like to pick Renekton, Camille top and stuff like this, whereas EU kind of likes to play like GP and Jace, NAR, stuff like this, uh, even Shen sometimes as well. So Sire that's the only reason I can attribute it to, <laughs> as on top of the fact that uh, Europe doesn't really play nearly as much, on top of the fact that, that the solo don't play that much setup. I think that's the reason I would